Here I'm going to be doing a butterfly patch. That's what I call it. Got an 8 inch by 8 inch square, roughly. So what you want to do here, is you want to take and you want to cut all the way across again. And try and keep it straight in the square, you want to try and keep it straighter. So this is not rocket science. And plus, you do not want to go all the way through. We're not going to do that. Then what we do is we just kind of break it gently like that. Break it like that and start peeling it. Peeling that surface tape off. We don't want to break that. But what you want to do, we take this, we hold it up to the hole. You want to center it in the hole like that. And this is how to get a perfect fit every time. You take your pencil and you outline the square. That's it. Let's go ahead and mark T for the top right there so we don't do that again. You can take a dust brush, the shop back. Don't suck all the insulation out of the wall. What I like to do is kind of mash it that way. Get a little bit in there like that before I go all the way around. That gets it good and seated to the edge of the drywall there. Anyway, what you want to do is what I do. You take your knife like this, pull it right in the corner. Pull out some mud like that. It's easier to go around and not leave it all over the wall. And you can take one side at a time. Get you a little bit more. Go ahead and take it that way. Oh, now look what I did. I'm trying to show off and it messed up on me. Anyway, nice, even. You don't want to spend all day on it, but you don't want to be too messy with it either. And since we already got our top marked, we already know which way it goes in. I want to get it in there, but put it in there till you got it as even with the sheet rock as you can with this rock, like that. And start squeezing it out. Don't, don't try to squeeze it all out at once. You'll tear the paper. Just kind of lay it down at first. Let it relax a little bit. Let it, let it soak up a little bit of that moisture. And then take and angle your knife a little bit. Have it angled this way and this way. It'll squeeze that mud out. Just like that. You don't want to go too hard. You will rip that paper. Think about how soft paper gets when it's wet. This is wet. Do it just like that. So you do that and you let it dry. All right, we're back. Now that the patch is dry, we're going to put a second, or we're going to put our first coat on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a 10 inch knife so we can spread it out. The further you spread it out, the less of a hump it appears. You're tricking the eye. The hump is still there. You're just spreading it out so your eye doesn't see it. So what I'd like to do, I like to do is check and see just how much mud I'm going to need so I'll have an idea. So I just check like that and see what it is, and that's not bad at all. So what you want to do is you want to get a thin bead. I mean, I say a thin bead. It doesn't have to be real thin, but you want to go all the way across the knife. You might have to do it a couple times like that, but take it, and I just go right straight down like that. Maybe have to come up again, you know, to fill in the void. Like that. Come down about halfway. Do it again. And you don't have to be perfect. Don't think you're going to make yours look, look, yours look as good as mine. I've been doing it for 30 years. Like that. And what I do is burn all the edges. Burning the edges, I mean, scratch the edges down. Like that. And that way, they're feathered. Like that. Like that. And then we smooth it off. And you want to keep more pressure on this, this side of the knife than you do in the middle because you don't want to make a knife groove in the middle. You'd rather have that little ripple in there than a groove. So just keep it kind of like that. Kind of like that. Let that dry. And we'll come back when that dries and we'll put the final bed on it. All right, we're back. We're going to put the second and final bed on it. Here we go with the second bed. And I'm going to go this way with it. Same thing. Just little pressure on the outside and then there it is that's the finished bed right there but you have to wet sand around the edges to feather them into the texture if you don't you'll leave a line this texture is real small so it's not that big of a deal but it will still leave a line bigger texture you have to feather it in 
just like this. I like to get it wet, let it soak in a little bit all the way around. It's easier to feather if it soaks in a little. But you gotta feather that into the texture. Don't rub it too much. You don't wanna rub it all off. And if you see paper or tape, stop. Just like that. And once you got it all feathered in like that, you can tell because it's in the texture. It's not on top of the texture, in, on the edge. It's down in the, and it won't leave a line. People think we're magic, but this is really isn't magic, is it? All right, here we go. We're just gonna put a little texture on this. This is an orange peel. Feather it out a little bit. One more little hit like that. And when that dries, perfection. 